Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Goosebumps the board game is a board game based off of the movie that came out five, six years ago starring Jack Black. So what you're going to get is a, not really a roll and move. So you're going to have these cards in your hand. You're going to play them down and be able to choose what you want to move. So there's a little bit of strategy to what you want to move here, even though it takes that, that simple, familiar concept of moving up a track. It tries to do something a little bit different and it tries to be more like a more modern board game. And I do commend it for that. You have a lot of the stills from the movie, which I enjoy stills. They don't bother me like they do. Some people some people all want all original artwork. I like this still. I like looking at the characters from the movie. I like that sort of thing. So for me, that's a bonus. As you're moving up this track and you're kind of racing to get there. Why are the bad guys racing on this track? I mean, it's a little bit of a disconnect here, but it's a children's game. If they're a fan of the movie, you might want to get the board game to kind of go along with it. And it's more than just a spin and move or just a roll and move. There is some hand management to it. There are those uh, familiar tropes of like steal a card or um, if you hit this one spot, you get to you know, move up, which I like. There's only one spot on the board like that. But you do have the concept of the landmarks where you're kind of safe where those are at. I think that's a very neat concept. A lot of this will reinforce reading a little bit, and I enjoy that very much so. So really, this is just for fans of the movie, but if you're looking for a little spooky game, it's not really that spooky, but you know, it has that Goosebumps on it, Halloween-type game for little kids, this might do it for you. Uh, Goosebumps the board game, it's going to be a keeper for the kids, it does a little bit more than a roll and move, and I think that my kids really like the movie and the book series, so it works for them in that regard, and it has a little bit of hand management for it, so it works for us as a Halloween-themed game, so keeper for us. Goosebumps the board game. Now, this is going to be based off of the first movie. And you're going to have a little instruction manual, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. You have a board. We'll set that aside for now. And you're going to have a big, empty box. So you're going to, these are going to be the standees you're going to have. The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. The Mummy. These are all characters that were in the movie. The Haunted Mask. The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena. You're going to have Slappy and Vampire Poodle. So those are the people that you could have. You're going to get a deck of cards. It's really nice. It has this little slit here, I guess. But... And you're going to have these Goosebump cards. This is going to be a big deck of cards with stills uh, from the movie with the different characters that are on it with numbers. Uh, these are kind of thin, not not great quality whatsoever. You're going to have some action cards, like you can see this haunted car from the movie, which is a the front bumper, I guess. Um, so that's what you're going to have. And, and, and they're okay. I mean, nothing to write home about. You can see there's a clown there with one. And uh, they do repeat the artwork quite a bit. The cards really do. is R.L. Stein. So you have one picture of Jack Black in the game. If your kid's like R.L. Stein. And you're going to set this aside. And you're going to have the board. Now the board's just going to be your normal mass market game here. You know, you're know, you going to have a trail that will be going. Uh, from the bottom all the way to the top. As you're probably used to, it's got some stills from the movie. You know, Slappy's on there. He's kind of the star of it. And you have different people on it. But those are the components. So here's the rule book. You're going to get a nice little thing. It has the Goosebumps uh, thing on it. It's going to kind of pull out like this so you can learn how to play. Let's close it back up and take a look at it. You're going to have your object to begin and kind of an overview of a turn and how that will work. And then I'll tell you about the landmarks and kind of go through some of the stuff in the end. If you're playing with more players, you want to play a shorter game, you go down here. And it goes over some of the cards here. The back of it is nothing. A lot of wasted space there, but there you go. And you probably need uh, less than five minutes. I mean, a parent will need about three minutes to get through this and be able to play it very easily. This game is very easy. You're going to take the characters you want and put them here at the beginning. And these will be the people that you are and you're moving through the board. You will take the deck of cards, just shuffle them up, and everybody's going to grab four cards. And what you're going to be doing is racing to get to the end. And the first person to get to the end will be the winner of the game. On your turn, it's very easy. You always draw up to five. If you already have five cards, then you simply will draw one card. You can play a card easily for the amount of movement on it. In this case, four. So I play this card and one, two, three, four. Players cannot be on the same spot of the board. You can also play cards of three of a kind, and that will move you to the next landmark. You can see there's landmark spaces throughout. There is a freezeway card. If you happen to have this and somebody plays a three of a kind, you can block it with this, and they don't move at all. In addition, there are a few action cards that can be played, like I found your book, you move ahead six, and the lead player back to the previous landmark. So if you were up here, you can move forward six spots, and whoever's in the lead will go back to the landmark. Now, if you're ever on a landmark spot, that would block you. So if you're in a landmark spot, no card can affect you, and you wouldn't move back because it's a safe place. That is, unless they play the founder book, if they find the book, you move ahead six, they move back, 
even if they're a landmark and it tells you that on the card itself. So you will play cards to move spaces. If you get three of a kind, you move to the next landmark. There may be some action cards. And you have a few spots here where if you're able to land directly on the shortcut through the graveyard, you just kind of move up, shoot the ladder style. And there is a still card if you land on this on exact movement. You can steal a card from somebody's hand. First one to the end is your winner. Who should buy this game? So uh, really, I mean, when you see an IP on a game, it's really for fans of that, right? Goosebump fans. But if you don't know what Goosebump says, you want a Halloween-themed game for kids, this will do it. It's a little bit more than a roll and move. You have a little bit of the hand management, trying to collect the cards. I think all of that works well for this. So simple game for little kids only, preferably kids who want a Halloween-themed game or fans of Goosebumps. That's going to be the niche market right here.